Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, we've already shuffled the cards for time purposes. Um, one of your cards did jump out, so we will get to that. First, I want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, I, if you don't, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, we will be doing free one question readings on December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. We've been doing that for the past two years, and it's definitely uh, gotten more attention. So, um, you know, we're just doing or giving you guys more of what you like. Uh, so if you're interested in asking a question or wanting some clarity in regards to a specific situation, uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, December 22nd at 7 p.m. California time on Instagram. Um, also, we will be doing December giveaways. For, so for those of you guys that are interested in qualifying, definitely stay tuned on my next spell video. I will be letting you guys know how to participate. And last year we did the same thing where we were giving and providing for you guys uh, charged amulets and um, little free gifts, uh, giveaways, um, not not just for protection, money, uh, opportunities, etc. But this year we're also going to be providing um, from our soap line. We will be giving free uh, soaps as well. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Now let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Now when shuffling the cards, uh, this card came out. Uh, in regards to your finances sector, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, if you've been experiencing difficulties in regards to finances, I definitely see a quick up and up uh, in regard directly connected to your finances. For some of you guys, it could be getting a loan. For others of you, it could actually symbolize um, uh, being able to buy or purchase a home. I do see uh, for some of you guys, there's going to be um, changing residency, as you guys can see here. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but there is a home in the back. Um, so there is definitely a lot of growth and advancement coming uh, towards you guys. Now, in regards to your communication, uh, communication, oh my goodness, in regards to your communication, we have the chariot card. So the chariot card could represent a cancer energy for others of you. It could just represent, again, a lot of quick movement and progress. I do see this almost as a card of like, to me, it represents in spell work like a blockbuster. And it's almost like demolishing all the obstacles and difficulties that you've experienced or that you have been continuously going through and being able to break through that and break free from that. Next to the Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely talking about uh, your luck finally changing Sagittarius. Now, in regards to your challenge here, you have the King of Cups. So the King of Cups could represent, again, like I said, a Cancer. It could also represent a Water Energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, and as a challenge, the King of Cups usually indicates trying the best you can to distinguish between your ego and distinguishing intuition. So what exactly do we mean by that? When you're hoping or wanting some type of outcome and you continuously convince yourself that it is your intuition that's pulling you towards it or that is giving you um, some type of higher knowing, um, there is a need to separate your ego from your intuition. It is com two completely different things. And I know that a lot of the times, um, especially for those of you guys that are very spiritual, uh, it, that could be challenging. Even for us, um, you know, spiritual advisors, sometimes that that is very, I think it's one of the most difficult things to distinguish when it is your intuition and when it is your ego or desire, um, depending on what situation it is. But I think, like I said, from my experience, I think that that's when you're first starting your spiritual journey or when you're first starting anything that has to do with spirituality. Uh, it could be very challenging knowing to distinguish your ego from your intuition. Um, I guess the best way of describing it is we get so wrapped up into certain ideals or so certain things that we consider, you know, truths. 
uh, whether it's a belief system, whether it's, um, you know, wanting something as an outcome and you're like, I feel it, I feel it in my bones, but it's not really your intuition. What it is, is just your hope and desire. So you need to differentiate that Sagittarius. Um, I think that that's going to be very important for you guys for this month, as well as paying attention to red flags or paying attention to warnings in regards to the spiritual realm. So what they're saying is, again, the King of Cups can also very well represent um, psychic or prophetic dreams. So pay attention to that because I feel that your intuition is going to be expanding and growing and becoming more prominent for this month of December. It's almost like Spirit is trying to guide you. Uh, pay attention to that. Pay attention to the way uh, you're being to, uh, pulled towards. So as an example, if there is a certain blockage or something that is keeping you from being able to achieve a certain goal, a certain aspiration, whatever it may be, pay attention to uh, the understanding. Uh, try to understand, try to go deeper and ask yourself, why is this happening? Not so much like, why is it happening directly to me, but more so uh, questioning or getting to the bottom of being able to step away from the situation to see it from a clear perspective. And you'll quickly find out that it's spirits trying to guide you uh, to put you on the path that you should be walking on. Now, in regards to your love and romance, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles could represent an Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, it could be revisiting the past or looking towards the past, almost as if like uh, the best of my life or the best of my years have passed me by. And what Spirit is telling you is, if you've been putting a lot of hard work and effort in a relationship that perhaps you outgrown or perhaps you're no longer in, um, you need to understand that whatever it is you put your energy or effort towards, that is more of what you will be experiencing. So if you keep looking towards the past um, as an example, saying that was the best years of my life, then the universe is going to respond by continuously putting you in a situation where it makes you feel like less fulfilling than it was in the past because that's exactly where your energy is going. So the best motto is to keep looking forward and the best is yet to come. Now I'm going to be pulling out cards from the Moonology Oracle cards to see what Spirit's uh, direct message is for you, Sagittarius. So let's see what Spirit is trying to tell you. This is a direct uh, direct message for you guys. And let's see. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For the month of December 2019. All right, Sagittarius. So you have, don't let your past hold you back. South note. You see, this is so crazy when the cards always speak truth. This is exactly what... I was just saying, let go of the past, let go of the feeling that perhaps things will never be as great as they were at one point, or things are never going to change because they're horrible. Stop thinking that way. You need to let go of that. You need to understand that the universe is only responding to what you're asking for. So whatever you put more energy towards, that's exactly what you're going to continuously keep experiencing in this lifetime. Uh, so again, the more positive or optimistic and excited you are about the future, the more the universe will, will correspond and put you in situations that make you feel as excited and blessed and optimistic. And the easiest form or the easiest way to start is by showing gratitude, being thankful. A lot of the times I hear people often say, well, there's nothing really to be thankful about. Yes, there is. Because if you have a home that you sleep under, then that's a blessing in itself. And other people would be like, yeah, but I'm living with my parents or I'm living with my sister or I'm living. Then you're blessed to have a sister. You're blessed to have a parent. Whatever it is, as minimalistic as it may seem to you, to another person that is going through something more difficult it can seem almost as a blessing, like like I said. So it starts with gratitude and being optimistic and being positive, okay? 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Sagittarius. I do see a lot of changes for you. And like I said, uh, in your finances, I do see that in the up and up swing. So that's definitely a, go a good thing. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.